Welcome to Audible Stories, The Birth of Dreams. One day in paradise, the god of infinite wisdom, kindness and mystery, looked around at the glittering objects in the sky and asked his angels what these were. The angels looked at them, and looked at each other, and then looked at the god they could not answer for they had no idea what these beautiful things were. We do not know, they said, we know only the words you taught us, and you have not taught us words for these. The god smiled, for he had taught the first man the names of everything in the universe. He had taught the first man the names of the stars. And so he said to the angels, the first man is wiser than you are. From this day on, you must bow down before the first man, and to all the generations that come after him. As always the angels obeyed the gods' wishes. We will, they said. All the angels agreed to this, except Iblis, who proudly raised his head and said, You created us from light. You created the first man from clay. I will not bow down before a creature made up of clay. The god was furious at Iblis for his disrespect. You and your children are banished from paradise, he thundered at the rebellious angel. Go to earth and wander aimlessly. You are no longer welcome here. Iblis was distraught. Good god! He begged, I will do as you wish, but please, in return do this for me. Let me die last of all the creatures you have created. The God who always is merciful, thought for a while, but he did agree to Ibelus's request. Very well, he said. Now go, and away with you. And so Iblis unfolded his great wings and flew to earth along with his children following behind, weeping at their banishment. A great shadow spread over the land as they descended, and the sound of their wings thundered. For a time Iblis, grieving at his plight, hid in a forest. But after a while, burning with fury, he decided he would take revenge on the first man. Leaving the forest, he journeyed to find his enemy. He found the first man with the first woman in a beautiful garden, and when he saw them, he knelt upon the ground and called to them in a gentle, wooing voice. You there, I have much to teach you. I come from paradise, and I want to share my wisdom with you. He spoke in words so rich with promise that the man and woman came to him and listened to all he taught them. Iblis taught them hate and fear. He taught them to mistrust and to despise. He taught them to envy and to seek vengeance. And he taught them to spread their teachings to all who would come after them. He taught them to spread poisonous thoughts and evil deeds to turn their hearts away from the good God and toward his teachings. For years Iblis flew about the earth, spreading evil, and he commanded his demon children to do the same. His children obeyed their father, but secretly they wanted to return to the beauty and serenity of paradise. At last, longing for home, they flew one night to the gates of the paradise. There they stopped and inhaled the scents of jasmine and orchids. They listened to the soft sounds of palm trees swaying in a wind and to the lilt of the angels' voices. Hidden by shadows, the demons listened to the angels' songs. And once they had visited, they knew they would return each night. Each night they flew to the gates of the paradise and eavesdropped on the angels' songs, returning to earth at dawn, hiding their nightly visits from their father. And after a while, as the demons began to listen more closely to the angels' voices, 
they began to hear the secrets of the god. They heard stories of the fates, of all that would happen and would be happening to all the humankind. They actually heard everyone's future tale. Each dawn, when they returned to earth, they were sad, and each day they felt sadder still and grew angrier at their father for his disobedience. They decided they must return to paradise, or somehow bring paradise to earth. Soon the demons were brimming with knowledge of the future, and they came up with a plan. They visited the human beings as they slept, hovering over their beds, whispering secrets in the form of dreams. They had learned at the paradise, gates, the stories of the future that lay before all humankind. In this way, dreams were born, and though Iblis continued to haunt humankind, but at night, his children's through the dreams spread among people the teachings of paradise. If you like the story, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for listening.